Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. You're kidding. Didn't Rhea or Sedith fill you in? Guess I have to do everything myself around here. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrett Mock. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. So this is Grander Field. Hey, Teach, not a bad place to wage war, is it? Plenty of places to hide and our pick of paths to advance through. It's the perfect battlefield for our tactics. I have my eye on that low hill over there. See it? It's the ideal spot to lure our enemies to and then surround them with fire. <laughs> gotcha, Teach. I know, I know, we want all students to make it back to the monastery. With you in command, we can't lose. The Imperial Princess and the Crown Prince don't stand a chance. Professor, Claude, what are you two talking about? What do you expect? 
It's Claude. I am certain he was foisting more of his ill-advised schemes on our poor professor. Oh, you have me all figured out, Lawrence. You know me better than I know myself. Win or lose, it's an honor just to participate in the legendary Battle of the Eagle and Lion. We've got to win so we can show Captain Gerald what we're made of. Yes! I'm ready! Let's go! <laughs> I shall give it my all. I'll just... stay quiet and follow along so I don't get in anyone's way. That will not be acceptable, Marianne. The whole point of this exercise is for each house to act as one. Do your best. I can't wait to see how well everyone does. All right, sounds like Hilda will be taking control of a central hill and watching the battle from there. It's almost time. Come on, Teach. The battle starts now. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time.
us away. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. I got this. Strength in action. I stand ready. Stay focused. Let the lesson begin. As expected. Let's get to it. Ready and willing. Ready anytime. Uh. Much needed. Who, me? Who, me? Leave it to me. Good try. We should take this chance to break through the Black Eagle's flank. Strike. That helps. 
idea. Thanks. I will draw the Black Eagles out, Your Highness. Yes. And while you are doing so, we will take control of the Central Hill. My strength building. Sorry, did I hurt you? Well done. chance to grow.
such power dwells within. I'm impressed. Plenty more where that came from. Stay focused. I stand ready. Ready anytime. Ready and willing. my own strength. Still got room to grow.
Let's get to it. That takes care of that. I just worked harder. I got this. Who, me? Who, me? You fought well. Thank you. Let us away. Estimated me. Ah! Uh. 
did it! I did! Princess, heads up! There's a rat right by your imperial feet. Ah, I... How dare you make a fool of me? You will not rile me with such childish tactics. Ah, so the sheer terror in your eyes was something else entirely. My mistake. Anyway, it was only a joke. You really hope to unsettle me with childish jokes? It won't work. You must stand and fight. <laughs> I expected as much. I'm sorry, but I must retreat. You should have no trouble winning. Don't give up! Thanks for that. I thought I gave it my all. <laughs> Sorry. Appreciated. Still a long way to go.
beg your royalness. If you promise to let me have the prize, I'll let you take the honor of victory. Do we have a deal? Enough of your foolishness. I... Wait a moment. You are trying to anger me, is that it? <laughs> Saw right through me, did you? Well, if there's no deal, I'll just have to win this thing fair and square. I will happily face you here and now. Do not hold back, Claude. push myself with you as my foe. This will be a great chance to test our metal. Do not underestimate me, Professor, or you will fail. I suppose my training wasn't enough. The Blue Lions have no choice but to retreat. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... The Golden Deer! A victory worthy of a feast. We did so well, there's no way we didn't secure that prize. Well done, Claude. I see your schemes are not to be underestimated. Yes, I must wholeheartedly agree. As ever, I have proven to be no match for you. It is the utmost honor to receive praise from your royal... <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Really, though, it, I was lucky to have Teach on my side. In all honesty, you two made me work for it. If I had to face you again, there's no telling which way it would go. What do you think, Teach? How did the other houses fare? Not strong enough, clearly. If there's ever a next time, know that I plan to wipe that smile from your face. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, now that the three-way battle has ended in an alliance victory, I dare say it's time for some post-battle reconciliation. The victor has but one request. Hear me out. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. <laughs> I accept your proposition. But please notify me once your preparations are complete. It seems I have no choice but to drown my sorrow at losing an overindulgence. I'll help you with the preparations. <laughs> it's not a feast if you don't eat too much. Leave it to the Imperial Princess to say such wonderful things. That's not exactly what I said, but forget it. Laugh all you want. No, well, if you insist. <laughs> hey, Teach. Looks like you're having a good time, too. Seeing you smile like that means we've got no choice but to have a great time tonight. Let's get going. our house leader ate so much he passed out. I guess he should just sleep it off? Oh, Professor! Great work today. As long as we have you and Claude, the Golden Deer House is unstoppable. I am sure we did not require Claude for our victory, but it certainly would not have been possible without our Professor. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be in your class, Professor. You truly bring out the best in us. Let's keep fighting! And winning!
I knew the tactics you learned from the captain would be something else. I better work harder to catch up. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. Because of you, I managed to get through the fight without feeling like a burden. Thank you, Professor. I hear Lady Rhea and Sedith are singing your praises, too! You're always so modest. You really showed them, Teach. I would really hate to be on your bad side. Oh, look. Claude has been revived. Your tactics were ingenious, and you've somehow mastered the power of the King of Liberation's relic. You really are incredible. Though you can be a bit absent-minded at times. Your mind is like a giant bowl with a tiny crack in it. Claude, saying that only makes your own mind bowl seem tiny. How dare you? My bowl is much bigger than Teach's. Unfortunately, it doesn't just have a crack. The whole bottom of my bowl is missing. In other words, you are the absent-minded one, not our professor. That's true. He just admitted it. <laughs> it's unusual to hear you laughing, Marianne. Your smile is really cute. It feels so great to laugh and joke around like this, doesn't it? Hmm? Huh? Well, look at that. Someone's having a secret rendezvous in the courtyard. All joking aside, I'm having trouble sizing you up, Teach. The honest truth is that I'd hate to have you as an enemy. If possible, I wish for you to fight by my side. If I could use the sword of the creator, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I bet if I could use it, you would trust me to, right? That selflessness may be what I like best about you. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, Next month, your assignment will be to journey to Remire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Remire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. 